Let's take a look at the new terrain support in Whirly Globe Mapping. So it starts out as everything does with a globe. And I've got some higher resolution data here in the Pacific Northwest, so let's go take a look at that. Now if we go up towards Seattle, there's a nice big mountain right nearby, Mount Rainier. So we get in close, and as you can see it's paging tiles in as it gets closer. If we move away, it'll page tiles out and just do its usual quad tree level of detail thing. So that's really all there is to it. There it is, terrain. So we've got underlying elevation data here in, in meters that we're paging from a local repository. And you could also add a remote repository if you had a, a place to put it. And then we're putting a uh, base map on top of that. In this case, we're using the Mapbox terrain tiles, which are just kind of this uh, nice combination of greens and blues and such. Let's take a look at that with satellite data, see what it really looks like. And sure enough, as you'd expect, there's a lot of snow when this was taken. And you can get a good feel for the topography of the mountain. And it's just generally fun to play with. So that's Seattle off in the distance there. Let's see if we can find some other peaks that are interesting to look at. So if we go south a bit, there's another one. There we go. Now let's switch back to the uh, back to the map box terrain data set because it's a little brighter, it's easier to navigate. And in addition to the, the obvious mountain peaks, there's also some great uh, topography in this area. And we can follow these river valleys, see where they go and just generally play with the data set. Now this data set's fairly sparse. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's not very high resolution and we're actually oversampling in this case. So if you want to build something a little more interesting, you can do that. Uh, the tool that I use to build this archive is open source and there's more information on it in the blog post. And I can just play with this endlessly. All of this is open source so you can build it yourself and give it a try. And uh, in this case, again, I'm paging from a local repository, but it's easy enough to, to do something different and page from a remote one if you have the, the data in a, a reasonable form. So that's it for the terrain support in Whirly Globe Mapley. And I'm sure there'll be more features as this goes. This should appear in the next version, version 2.3, but it's already there in the develop tree and it's, uh, it's already working pretty well.